Okay, so in this little tutorial, um, I'm going to show you uh, Vue Player. Then we're going to jump into uh, Convertful, and then um, uh, Replug, then Kotlin Studio, and then I'll show you the finished product and um, how everything's uh, put together. Okay, so with Vue Player, uh, I started off with this one first, um, and then made a copy of it. The reason for that is this one here um, I have the, the, the email gate uh, set um, in this spot so it'll play the intro uh, a bit and then uh, then it will hit you with the email gate um, and then this one here this one starts at the very beginning uh, and this is the one we're going to be using for uh, for the, uh, for convertful. Okay. So to get that link, uh, it's right here. Publish options, and then um, you take the uh, the link here. Okay. So now in convertful. So that's my Foo player. Just click that. There it is. And then you just paste your link here. So I'm going to show you the settings here. So that's my settings. This is what it looks like on mobile. Have it set at the bottom. That's my structure. Um, here's the elements. When you pop in that video, you can, you can see it there. Close that. This is my behavior settings. Okay, I'll show you the short link uh, a little bit later, uh, how that works. So, um, when the page loads, after three seconds, um, this will pop up, as well as uh, if they decide to, to leave the page. Okay, and um, there's my integrations. I don't have any integrations there. And here is um, uh, you can add um, our custom CSS in there if you need it. So in this replug, um, because I have some uh, active accounts in here, so I'm just going to show you uh, screenshots for that. Uh, so you create a brand by uh, clicking. Uh, this button here and then this will show up you just enter your company name and uh, link click save and then here uh, this is uh, on by default and you select uh, third-party widgets and then if you're using any custom domains uh, just like the one I showed you I believe here yeah, this one here. So that's my custom domain for replug. And um, when you click next, there's your, then you just paste your integration script here. Uh, make sure you select convertful and then you save your campaign. After you save campaign, Uh, you just paste it in here and then it will um, whatever um, shortener you have it will automatically convert it to um, I have it set for uh, uh, Google shortener 
there's your Facebook, there's your Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and then Tumblr. So then just uh, click post. When it's done, you get something like this. And when you click that link, this is what you get. Email gate. And then Okay, so this is the one that we use for uh, Convertful. This is the one for the actual uh, page. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Uh, uh, my name is Romel C. Kaibo. And that, that will start uh, I'm I'm right around uh, talk about minute. lead magnets, uh, lead captures, and lead tracking. Um, I'm, I'm going to be, as best, best I can, explain to you the difference between uh, all, all three of them, as well, well as show you some, some examples, so that, that way you can better visualize what uh, each one of them are. Okay, okay let's dive it, dive it. And there it is. Yep, so it's, so the email gate uh, uh, gets triggered uh, right, right around this area. And for convertful, It's right in the beginning. Okay, I uh, hope that helps.